Good morning. Welcome back to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, global markets reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me back at MarketSite, we have Chris White. He's the CEO of Viable Markets. We're here to talk about global interest rates and the Rates Evolved Conference coming up in New York City on January 24th. Chris, as always, great to see you. Before we get into the conference, some interesting developments came out on Monday. Well, Monday, the uh, Fed hosted their fourth annual um, conference on uh, interest rate market structure. And what I love about this conference is I think the Fed does a wonderful job of gathering a lot of the key regulators, a lot of the key market participants. I was expecting to see you there. I, I can't get paroled out of here these days. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but what they do is they talk about the major themes that they believe are going to be impacting the markets going forward. I think four years ago they called this conference together because we had the Treasury market flash crash and they, therefore there was sort of an action that dictated everybody get together. But now it's more of a regular event where they focus in on what are the big topics for the coming year. Um, and so obviously one of the things that uh, got a lot of airtime was what's happening with the treasury markets and all aspects of trading in U.S. treasuries. I think one of the things that was uh, you know, really, really helpful was uh, there were a couple of market participants discussing how clearing has changed over time in the U.S. treasury market. This is a market that's now almost 15 trillion in size. So clearing is something that we don't normally talk about or worry about, but obviously if something goes wrong, it could be a major issue. So very enlightening and it was an awesome event. So it sounds like market structure is gonna to continue to evolve within this space. Well, we, we hope so. I, I think that um, what we have is we have new participants in a larger market and we have to be respectful of that. And the new participant that's being talked about is a, a lot of, uh, they're called principal trading firms. Uh, um, proprietary trading firms coming over from other asset classes and showing up in this U.S. Treasury market. Now, um, this is uh, an event that's been going on, we, we could say, probably for the fi past five or six years, but their impact on the market has been material. Uh, for example, prior to 2000, uh, almost 99% of the volumes for interdealer broker trading of treasuries was cleared. Today, about 45% of the volume is cleared on interdealer broker platforms, and that's because you're seeing these new entrants into the marketplace, and they are not clearing members. So this is something that the market has to recognize and figure out a solution for. Um, so a lot of what was, was being discussed is like, what are the things we can do to avoid problems in the future? Mm -hmm. well, let's talk about Rates Evolved. It's coming up in New York City on January 24th. Could not be better timing yep. considering the global interest rate environment right now. Tell us more about the conference and what we can expect. Well, you know, we, we looked at six months ago and we said, you know, uh, the rates market in particular doesn't, with, with the exception of the Fed conference, which I think is more just a presentation of factual information, there really isn't a healthy industry debate that's just focused on interest rate market structure. And given uh, the changes from LIBOR to SOFR, uh, clearing, transparency in the treasury markets, um, uh, the changes to repo, there's so much to discuss that's going to have an impact on the global financial system. We thought that rates of all would be a great way for us to take a really deep dive in this area of the marketplace. And so um, we've been successful in getting a bunch of speakers and sponsors mm -hmm. who um, we feel have uh, a very informed opinion about not only what's happening now, but what solutions are going to be critical for having a healthy and well-functioning market in the future. Um, so w we've been really prioritizing the quality of the content in this conference, and we know that you're a part of well, it. Well, I'm is... really excited to reporting from there. We're going to get some good content out of there for sure. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm really hopeful. I, I think that uh, what we're going to see in 2019 is, I think, a, a butterfly effect of the market where things have been quiet and sleepy for a little mm -hmm. while, but it's either the NEX CME acquisition or um, the changes in interest rate swap market structure, something's gonna shake this market up and make it turn into something that we don't recognize previous to 2019. All right, good times coming up. Thank you so much, Chris, as always. And thank you for joining me. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Thanks.